Hello, this is Mr. Waters and another uh, video coming to you from Waters Studios. Okay, today this is going to be a quick video about um, about the volume of a sphere. Okay, now we've done some volume formulas before in the previous homework and I hope that you understood how that worked. Um, today we're just going to work on one shape which is a volume of a sphere. Now a sphere you understand is like a, it's like the shape of a ball like this this uh, uh, Christmas ornament here except for the little stem up on top that has the shape of a sphere right and when we talk about the volume of it we mean the amount of space inside just like the other shapes so the amount of if we had those like little sugar cubes or something how many cubes of volume could we stack inside of it to completely fill the volume inside okay that's what we mean by the volume of it Okay, the space inside. Okay, lots of things are spherical shaped, like, you know, baseballs and basketballs. Okay, lots of things are approximately spherically shaped, like, for example, this tangerine here, or the Earth, which is close to being a sphere, but not quite. Okay, and so we can sort of roughly calculate the volume of these shapes by using the volume formula for a sphere. Okay? All right, so now what does the volume formula for a sphere look like? Well, it is the volume here, the fraction 4 over 3 times pi times r to the third power. Okay, so r to the third power means r times r times r. Pi is still 3.14. So to find the volume of a sphere, we'd multiply 4 over 3 times 3.14 times r times r times r. Okay? Now, where does this formula come from? Turns out that that's a more difficult question than you might imagine. Okay, it comes from uh, advanced forms of mathematics, but for now we don't need to worry about that. We just need to know uh, how, to, how to work the formula. Now, notice that like a circle, the volume of a sphere is always in terms of the radius, not the diameter. Okay, so... Okay, so we have to know what the radius is. So, for instance, here is example one. The volume is 4 over 3 times 3.14, and the radius is 10 there. So I'm going to write 10 to the third power. Now that means 4 over 3 times 3.14 times 10 times 10 times 10. Now on Mr. Calculator, now on my calculator, I have a fraction key, so I can just type in, 4 over 3 directly. If you don't have that, you can just d divide, you know, 4 divided by 3, and that'll give you the, the, frac the, the, the uh, fraction amount. Anyway, times 3.14 times 10 times 10 times 10. Boom. And that says 4,186, and you see that 6 bar means it would keep repeating. So I'm going to round that up to 0.7. So our volume here is going to be 4,186.7 cubic inches. Because remember, volume units are always in terms of cubes. Kind of makes sense if you think about it in the formula we're multiplying inches times inches times inches. And inch times inch times inch times inch times inch would give you inch to the third power. Okay? All right, now we're going to try a couple of other examples here on this worksheet that I've got. It's class work worksheet. Here it comes. <laughs> stuck together. Sorry. There it is. Papers are stuck together. Okay, so that's kind of small. I'm going to zoom in a little bit on it so we can see the top two better. We don't need to see the entire thing all at one time. Okay. So we're going to find the volumes of the first two. All right, there it is. Okay, so here, here's a sphere, and they tell you that the radius there is 5, right? So the volume is going to be um, 4 over 3 times 3.14 times 5 times 5 times 5, right? That's what 5 to the third power means. Right? So in our calculator, we just type in, and I'm going to do it division-wise this time, 4 divided by 3. 
and that gives us about the amount of four thirds, which is that. Then I just multiply times 3.14 times 5 times 5 times 5. 5 3 times, right? And I get this number here, 523, and the 3 repeats, right? So it's 0 0.3333333. 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3. So we'll just round that off to 3, and that's going to give us 523.3. Cubic feet. And that's our answer. Okay? Now, in the second one here, notice that on the sheet here, you're going to have to be careful. Notice that on this one, oopsie, they drew the little dashed line halfway across from the center. That means that the radius there is 5. On this one, though, notice they've drawn the little dash inside all the way across. So that means that they're giving you the diameter. And they're telling you that the diameter is 9.8 centimeters. Oops, now you can see it. Okay? Now, be careful because the volume formula needs the radius. So how do I get the diameter from that? Well, remember the radius, or rather the diameter is 2 times the radius. So I'm going to take 9.8 divided by 2 and it's 4.9. So if the diameter is 7 is 9.8, the radius has to be 4.9, which is half of it. Okay? So in the volume formula, you have to use the radius to get the right answer. Okay, so what's the volume? The volume then is equal to 4 over 3 times 3.14 times 4.9 I'm going to write it in a shorthand exponential form, 4.9 to the third power. Remember, 4.9 to the third power means 4.9 times 4.9 times 4.9. So on Mr. Calculator, 4 over 3 times 3.14 times 4.9 times 4.9 times 4.9. Now if you're just careful about punching all the numbers in, boom, the answer comes out and there it is 492 point and then rounded off to the tenth rounded up to the tenth place 4.492.6. So 492.6, don't forget the units, cubic centimeters. And that's it. Okay? So I'm gonna post this that you're looking at right here, all right, with this work already done on it, but then the rest of them, okay, with uh, some more for you to do at the bottom here for you to tr practice on your own, and then there'll also be some homework, okay? All righty, so that is that, and then don't forget, today at noon, in just about 20 minutes, I'm going to go on live with a video conference and you'll be able to consult with me about any of the homework that we've done recently, especially the volume homework, before you turn it in. Alrighty. Thank you.